Hey guys, Technomentary with a video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to download popular apps like YouTube, Facebook on an older generation of an iPad. So here we have an iPad mini and in this video, we're going to tell you guys how you can actually download popular apps. Although if you go to the App Store, it's going to tell you that you can't download it because the app or the iPad is old, but there's actually a work around to doing that. But before we go ahead and get started, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news, reviews, hacks, and giveaways. So make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, if you guys are looking to upgrade to one of the newer iPads, make sure you guys check out the link that we'll provide you in the description section. So let's go ahead and get started with this method that we have for you guys. So this method should work on pretty much any iPad that you have out there, no matter how old it is. So what we're going to show you guys here is the first thing you want to actually do is sign into uh, account here for your iTunes. So here, as you can see, we're going to settings and then in iTunes and App Store, you're going to go there and then sign in here. Once you have signed in there, you're going to go to App Store. And once you're in the App Store, you're going to want to go ahead and search for the app you want. So, for example, we want YouTube, right? And what we're going to see here is that when we try to download an app like YouTube here, so we're going to hit that button. You see it says unable to purchase. It's not compatible with this iPad. Well, it actually is compatible. And the way to do that is simply get a device, Apple device, if you have one that's more latest that runs one of the newer iOSs. For example, this one runs iOS 14 or so. You're going to want to do is... Take that account that runs on that iPad. You're going to want to sign in to the iTunes here that you have. So you're going to open up App Store on this app. And then if you aren't signed in here, you're going to go ahead, sign out if it's not there here. And you're going to sign in to the same exact account that's going to be used on this one. Or you can actually take whatever account is in here and sign into that one. Either way works. And once you have done that, you're going to do is go ahead and download the app that you want. For example, we want YouTube, right? So we're going to go ahead, search up YouTube here. And this time we're going to go get it. And as you can see, it's going to ask us to sign in. And to sign in, we're going to sign in with the same account that's on there. Or if you already have an account here, you can take that account and sign in there. So we're going to go ahead and put our information here. And once we have signed in, it's going to start downloading. It's going to say, do you want to install? And we're going to hit OK here. And as you can see with the arrow, this only just asks you if you want them to require the password or not. We're just going to say require. Go with that. And once you have done that, you're going to notice that, as you see, it's downloading on this device. And once it starts downloading on device, what's going to happen is it's allow it's going to allow us, as you can see here, it's downloading YouTube here as you can see downloading here and what it's going to allow us to do is actually now access youtube on this device as well and how do we do that we simply you'll notice at the bottom here there's a option menu for purchases you want to go on that menu and once you go on that menu it's going to show you all of the apps that you have downloaded so far using that account that's logged into the iTunes here. And remember, we have the same account that we have put in here. So everything that you downloaded here, most of the apps, at least the popular ones, are going to be available here. And as you see, if we look around here, we'll see YouTube here. And this time, we can click on that cloud with the arrow down. And as you can see, it's going to tell you that it's not, not compatible with the latest version, but the last compatible version that's out there we can download that one. So you can hit that download button. And as you can see, we have that arrow now, it's downloading. Why Apple does that is because on the older devices, Apple blocks downloading the newer updates on this because of compatibility issues such as security and whatnot. But it's actually the version are there because at one point YouTube was used on this iPad. It's just that with the newer update and software, Apple decides to block it so that they force you kind of to upgrade to one of the newer Apple devices, which as you know, Apple devices are not cheap. And if you're looking to use an iPad mostly for YouTube and whatnot, 
for a kid or something like that, you you might be looking to do that instead of going using the browser. You can actually download it. And once it's downloaded, it's fully functional YouTube. You can also do the same thing for any other application if it's a specific game. For example, if you want to download Subway Surfer here, same thing. We click that button. Because we downloaded already on that account, once all you need to do is just sign into the same account. It will allow same thing. It will pop up with that notification saying it's not compatible with this iOS. It's going to help you download the most last recent compatible one. Same thing. You can do that with pretty much any app. Of course, the caveat to this is that there is a few apps out there that probably wasn't developed when the iOS 9, which the iPad mini here has. So you won't just, you won't be able to unfortunately get those. But for the most part, you know, this hack, you're able to get a lot of the more popular apps like TikTok. As you can see here, we downloaded on the other device. So it's available here under the purchases. Any other app you have, you have Amazon, if you do shopping, even Netflix, if you have that download, as you can see, it's down, it takes a moment, but it will start downloading. Of course, it's a little bit slower because it's an older device. Same thing, it's gonna say we're gonna download the last compatible version and we're gonna hit download. And you can do it pretty much like we mentioned any other apps out there. So pretty much a hack, even Roblox game like that, some of the newer popular games out there you can do. Of course, you might download an app here and there that might just not work. And that's because, you know, it's an older device you know, you're getting it really cheap, or if you bought it cheap, you know, you're gonna have to just live with it. But for the most part, these devices that are older, you might be using it for a kid who might not care if it's a little slow, but you have the apps and it's a great device still. It's just that Apple just wants you to upgrade to the latest and the greatest and pay, you know, tons of money out there. You know, you don't wanna do that and you get around by getting a device. And if you don't have a old, newer device, you can actually, Take a you know ask a friend or family that has a Apple ID that already downloaded this app to just sign in and then what you can do is after it has downloaded you can actually sign out and you don't even need that account anymore you can go into iCloud and then you could just hit that button and sign out if we do sign out here right it'll sign them out and their account is attach detach and it'll still download those apps and you want to make sure of course it downloads fully before you do sign out and we're going to have fully functional youtube uh, roblox any games that you want to download and you're good to go no issue and we're able to bypass that compatibility issue and have a fully working ipad ready to go hopefully this video is helpful if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like button subscribe button of course leave a comment in the comment section if you have any other questions thanks for watching guys see you guys next time